Hey there and welcome to Matt's Garage and another Mercedes ML350 repair video. So this one is going to be on electrical system maintenance. Um, I'm actually in the middle of changing my alternator. I have it removed right now. So I'll be cleaning up those connections that go on the alternator. But uh, while I have the vehicle depowered, it's a good time to go around and take apart all the other connections, both uh, positive and negative. And... Uh, you know, there's uh, on on the frame rails there. There's ground straps on on each side, and we'll get all those off and cleaned up. And, and the light harnesses have these uh, these brown ground wires that run in to a, a fastener there. So we'll get that all apart, get it all cleaned up, and uh, get some dielectric grease on them. I've got some little wire brushes and scotch pads to clean everything up. Um, so that's the process. I'm going to take every every connection right apart, clean it all up, protect it with the uh, dielectric grease, and uh, all this does is uh, ensure reliable electrical uh, performance down the road. Um, those grounds are your heart of your electrical system. If uh, if they're dirty, you're you're going to have problems in the long run. So that's what I like to do as as a preventative maintenance measure. I go around and I clean up all these ground points. It's something uh, I'm I'm big on on these PTs. I tell everybody who owns one, clean your grounds, um, because they everybody says they're electrical nightmares, but they're really not. I I clean up my grounds when I get them, and I don't have a whole bunch of electrical problems with my PTs. So it's the same thing here. These vehicles are kind of renowned for having electrical problems. Well, it's just the fact that they have a really complex electrical system. And if you don't maintain it properly, it's going to cause problems. So uh, that's what we're doing today. We're trying to uh, prevent problems before they happen. And uh, yes, it is snowing out. It wasn't supposed to snow today, but unfortunately it is. Um, I have my electric vest on and everything. I'm nice and warm, so don't worry about me. Okay, guys, basically what you're going to need to do this job is uh, most of the grounds look like they're 13. And normally, if you've watched my videos before, I like these scotch pads for cleaning up electrical connections. But I don't like the mess they make, so I'm actually going to try this little stainless wire brush today and see if I can uh, get it done with that. So I'll put this aside. And, and then dielectric grease, you can choose any brand you desire. I like this Lubramatic stuff, seems to work really good and uh, it's got a nice smell to it too. So that's what I'm using. And uh, this is a non-conductive grease, so it doesn't enhance the connection. What it does is protect the connection from getting moisture in it or anything that would cause corrosion and, and resistance and ruin the connection, basically. This protects against that, so you clean up the connection, you put it together with this in there, but as you tighten it down, it, it will still form a connection, it's just it will be insulated by this. Okay guys, well with the weather doing what it is here, I'm just kind of getting her done so I went ahead and just broke all the grounds loose so now I just want it to go over with you guys because they're not all the same size so these ones are 11 millimeter this one and this one back here and then the uh, lighting harness in here and over here are 10 millimeter and then you don't really have to take this one off because it's just grounded to the body. But this one got that loose and that is a 13. And uh, this isn't factory. Somebody had a trickle charger set up on here. So I'll, uh, I'll remove that harness. So this is, uh, you can see there's some corrosion on here for sure. So you can see it all coming off there right away when I brush it. Yeah, these little brushes work really good for this. And this is your main power to your engine base, so if you lose connection here or have a poor one, you're going to have problems. And I know I went through and did this already on my 89 and my 91 Mercedes, and they were just built up with like white powder between these connections. It was a small miracle that those cars both ran in the condition they were electrically. 
and then we'll just clean up the, the stud too. Looks like this just kind of clips apart. Okay, so there's a whole electrical box in there. So we've got some more connections down here we should definitely clean up. And this is why I recommend don't wash your engine bay because if you were to get in here with a pressure washer ever and that cover was on there, see it's not sealed, you'd end up with moisture in there and it would be a big issue, trust me. Now I can't stress enough that uh, you have to depower your vehicle when you're doing this. You can't be doing this with power going through it. So uh, I have both my batteries disconnected, both the auxiliary battery and the uh, the main battery. So always be careful when you're dealing with electrical connections like this. There we go. They all came off easy enough. Now we do have to be a little careful that we don't mix anything up down here. So the little wire goes over here. And then the, the pinky colored wire, for some reason that's a lighter red, goes here. And then the bright red one goes in the middle. So, and then we've got a 40, a 100, and a 100 fuse. So we'll just try and take this apart kind of in sections here, but I'm not sure how well that will work. So you do want to scrub up the, uh, the nuts as well. See, if I take these three out, I believe the stud will come right out that whole stud assembly. That was bad. That was so bad. Don't do that. Hey guys, well I dropped that other nut down there and it took me quite a while with the magnet to fish it out. I had to take the uh, cover off the heater box here. So uh, don't do that. Make sure you hang on to those little nuts. You see that? That stud comes right off of there. Now you want to clean all of this up. See the corrosion coming off there? I don't want to do it right in here so I'm gonna do this outside the vehicle get that all shone up and then uh, even these fuses here and these little studs here all of this so I'm actually gonna end up pulling this all out of here but I'm trying to clean it up as I go so I don't have it apart too long and forget where things go. Okay, so all those connections are off. So I'm going to remove these one at a time and scrub them. Okay, I'm going to put that back. Take this one off. And there is corrosion on these, by the way, in case you thought I was wasting my time. Okay. So now, we've got to get those fuses out of there. Watch me drop the fuse. So there you go, you want to clean up both contact points on that fuse as well. So you can literally see the corrosion there. Okay, so now for the dielectric grease, which I heat it up a little in my car, so hopefully it's not super hard to work with because it's so cold out here. So you just goop it on like that and cover the whole connection. Just like that. So now we place that back there. And then we'll just also grease up these connections so that one can go back on. And we can, I'll clean up the nut and put the nut on there too here in a second. So the nuts are all the same, it doesn't matter which one you put back where. Okay, so I'm just going to continue with all of this and it's just straightforward. We're going to take the other two fuses out clean everything up, dielectric grease, and put it back together. And uh, so I'll get back with you when, when I get it all back together here. Okay guys, there you have it. Just getting it all back together here. And I'm just going to use a nut driver actually to tighten everything back up. 
and uh, you don't want to over tighten this stuff that's for sure and because some of it's kind of connected together you don't want the things kind of twisting around so snug everything up just you know a little and then uh, go back over it and uh, torque them all after okay so we're gonna go when we do the final torque we go like that a bunch of times and that just moves the connector around enough to make a, a good connection and you want to bring them up firmly of course but not too tight okay so that looked a little intimidating at first but uh, actually really easy especially if you just take your air box out of the way here it's just a couple clips you pop off with a, a screwdriver a flat blade screwdriver and you can pull that right up out of there so I just have to get those stacked back on and I've got the brass nut all cleaned up so I'll do that and then I'm going to go around and do the other connections that I showed you earlier in the video and it's just going to be a repetition of this process okay guys so I, I took that out because that was in the way well I want to clean that anyways but it was in the way of getting these ground straps fished out of here so that was the 10 millimeter down there kind of have to reach up under the electrical box here to access it and get all these off the stud and then you can pull them all up here where you have lots of room to clean them um one thing too when you're putting your dielectric grease on make sure you seal it right up to the case there i mean mercedes has these nice covers and they solder their connections but a lot of companies just crimp them here and that's where the corrosion will work in right on the end of the crimp so i always if it's an open crimp like that i'll always put dielectric grease there to protect it but uh, as I said, these ones are really nicely sealed. Mercedes does a good job on their electrical connections, I find. So here's what I'm talking about is uh, right there. You see how the, the wire is there and it, it can get moisture in right there, right where it meets the casing and start to corrode. So you want to smear dielectric grease all in there. This is the uh, ground strap for the alternator here. Just it's so cold out. <laughs> cleaning it up inside the car okay guys I'm all done with cleaning up all the ground points and electrical connections so this one was a little tricky and I just wanted to show you so it's a 10 millimeter nut just like on the other side but there's a, a washer fluid hose that runs there and just the front hose you'll have to pull it out of its clip it's a little clip down there and then the, the other hose you can just push it back out of the way and you'll be able to get your wrench in there a ratcheting wrench works best and then uh, those three connections there the most substantial one the one with the most wires and the biggest connector that goes on the base and then uh, they uh, they go up to uh, the least substantial one the one with the least amount of wires and everything goes on the stud last and uh, you can kind of see that by how they stack together anyways Okay guys, we're just in the battery compartment here under the passenger front seat now. And of course you want to clean up your battery cable ends. I'm also going to take that 10 millimeter nut off and just clean up the uh, eye on that that uh, little wire there, that little ground wire. And, uh, and then in there, I'm going to turn you upside down. Right here you can see the negative cable grounds up to the body of the vehicle. So that's another important part that we're going to take that apart and clean up it's probably not dirty because we are in a, a sealed box here and and the batteries even vent it and everything so one thing I nearly forgot earlier is this nice little cap fits down over there so I hope you found this video helpful and informative thanks a lot for watching that scratch don't forget to like and subscribe for more Mercedes how-to videos and have yourself a great day.